Hello, I'm TN Gaming, but you can just call me Alex. So this is the fourth part of my clan playthrough and let's just get started. Um Rattle. She spoke. But no actual words follow. Her eyes are fixed straight ahead, looking into the club room. What what's in there? What could her in the days like that? Damn it! I run over to her side. Then, from behind her, I look inside the classroom myself. Hmm. A cluttered pile of cardboard boxes. That's all. Although the classroom is supposed to be used for clubs, it seems like it had become a closet of sorts. Now that I think about it, I do vaguely recall someone mentioning that the drama club had been shut down. Right, Tomoya, and you couldn't have remembered that a few hours earlier, right? Not okay. I'm also very forgetful, so I don't blame you. I put my hand down on the girl's head. Yeah, sorry, I came up to find you, but I didn't want to interrupt once I saw you standing here. Why? Does it bother you? No reason, really. Yes. Yep. So we stay there for a while, her standing dumbfounded, me behind her, with my hand atop her head. <coughs> Sorry. Anyone passing by would probably be weirded out by the whole scene. My name's Tomiya Okazaki from Class T. What about you? Nice uh, Furukawa, huh? Nice to meet you. It's too... It's much too late for introductions at this point, but we exchange them anyways. This was the fate day we met. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Tomoya, what the heck is... What was that? Um. Uh, what the hell was that? Wait. I reload this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. So, it's much too late for introduction this one, but we exchanged them anyway, so that's why they met. So the drama club. Is uh, supposed to be like this? What? Okay, let's just not think about that this much. I think it's a bug or something. But okay, let's just continue. So, can you get home by yourself? Man, that was really strange just now. Um, okay, focus. Well, eat a Zelspur steak and cheer up. Hmm. 
I have an egg. <laughs> she had lost everything she loved at the school, so in the place of all that, she rewarded her herself with food as a way to stay motivated and move forward. And Panzer, really? She could have shot for something a little more highbrow. Ah. Don't be too late tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Bye. I return home before the sun sets. I quickly change and leave the house before my father gets back from work. Yeah. As I get to the dorm and begin my walk down the hall, a heart of giant barrels toward... I can't speak again. <laughs> um, so, as I get to the dorm and begin my walk down the hall, a heart of giant barrels toward me. Whoa! I just barely move out of the way as they rush past. They were a bunch of rugby guys. They uh, ran straight into their own room and slammed their doors shut. A lone woman turns the corner and comes tearing down the hallway after them. Okay. She stops and stands next to me. She's the resident storm mother and purveyor of order on the premises, Misae Sakara. Though well, I don't live in the dorm, it's impossible to have not met her team as I'm here practically every day. Hmm. Mm, yeah, let's talk to her. You're too easy on them, he says. Son. She looks at me with an exhaust expression. Yeah, I mean they're just dumb jocks who got into the school on their ability to hit other dumb jocks over a ladder wall. They won't understand anything unless you beat it into them. Mm, yes, I think so. And they're rugby players, they can handle a bit. They're not football players or soccer for the, the Americans. So, yeah. <laughs> right, but you're also not responsible for a dorm at some fancy hall girls' school. You have to do what the situation calls for. Yes, do that. They'll just run off again if you do that. Hmm? Put them in an arm lock until they shape up. And yeah, it's also a possibility. But... That's why you use technique to trump power. See, just take their arms like this and twist your body to throw them onto the floor. Hmm? What's up, peeping Tom? Nisa san grabs Sunaha's arm. Sunaha's body does a 180. Oh yeah, why are you such an asshole? Please stop it. Mr. San's armor is locked inside. Oh yeah, freaking traitor. <laughs> It is part of bro codex to not betray another bro, Tomea. You've lost all my respect. <laughs> yep, and devastating enough to get a false confession. Sonata is twitching on the floor. Uh, she walks off sighing. Just after that. <sighs> I suddenly feel very bad for this place, she's a fast learner. Yeah, you have created a monster. I'm pretty sure you admitted to it while screaming out in agony. 
<laughs> okay. I lie sprawled out on Zunohara's floor reading magazines. I'm pretty sure you know about um, Tomaya's family situation. Ah, come on, I like reading them here though. I don't know, I guess just being near you makes me calm down. <laughs> oh, by the way, where's my tea? The tea you make so good though. There's always the first time. Really? ここ read an old magazine. Look, this one has an unfinished crossword puzzle. Come on, try filling it in. Perfect, then we can compare answers later. I'll praise you for a job well done if you get it all right. Now go, get him. Your master. Quiet down, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Yeah. The angry voice from outside the door causes Sonohara to shrink into himself. See, you get another gang beating if you don't keep it down. Agreed. Okay, sure, I'll get right on that. What's the period from January 1st to 3rd called? I don't know. <laughs> okay, know that. Good to know, it's always good to learn something new. Um, yeah. Teacher, we have an idiot in our hands. Okay, then it is true. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong is your answer. <laughs> Snohala tosses the magazine into the corner of his room out of frustration. Oh yeah, the thing was pretty interesting, wasn't it? The commotion by the school gates. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, it was a bit strange. Um, uh, yeah. I wanted to say something just now, but I forgot. Uh, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? You were watching, weren't you? You can't deny reality. <laughs> well, if it really was snack, then yeah, it is genius, but. Come on, don't be so sexist. Women also can be strong. So, yeah. Yeah, sure. Hey, you're making me blush. <laughs> yeah, liar. Mm -hmm. You definitely look like one with your 
build. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I forgot to read it. <laughs> Sorry. Listen to you contradicting yourself. You were just telling me how a girl could never possibly fight on her own just because she's a girl. Okay, well, break a leg. <laughs> I turn over with the magazine still in my hands. Okay. It's already 3 am. Ooh, pretty late. Or early? Uh, uh, but... Oh, stop! I'm not staying over. You don't have to tell me. Well, I toss the magazine away and stand up. Just as I pull the doorknob, I stop and stand there. By the way, have you heard uh, you say some creepy stuff happens late at night in the storm? Uh, never mind. Okay, good night. I close the door. Bye. I hear moans of agony come from streaming from his. I hear moans of agony come streaming from his room, but I ignore them as I leave the dorm. So, yes. I think that's where we will stop for today and uh, see you guys tomorrow, bye.